So again, uh, downstream side of the bridge, here we have the concrete surround water main, which is acting as an obstruction. And the bridge itself, there is a concrete bed lead, as you can see here. And then the embankment on either side, the river bank, vegetation right hand side, and we have stone some of the way on the left hand side, natural stone that has been built. So we're downstream now, off where the flooding took place, and we can see that the actual channel is getting wider and depending on the flow depth we have a compound channel situation and here the channel is uh, increasing in depth the bed elevation has changed it's actually dropped uh, uh, currently close to halfway up my waders and again we have the channel waterbed depth reduced and we can see that somebody may or may not have uh, done some dredging or cleaning of the channel. So as we go on down, we can see the tree on the left hand side uh, has been undermined over a period of time. And we have the bed of the channel, a mixture of cobbles, and we have sands and rabbits. And now we're coming down to the Bonamain Road, and on the Bonamain Road there's a twin arched bridge and the twin arch bridge is uh, has been extended and that involved a reinforced concrete deck being constructed alongside the stone masonry arched bridge What we can see from here, by walking up to this, you think that there's a single arch, but we can see here that there's actually uh, a double, double arch, and I'll resume. Uh, you can see now probably better that there's a double arch, and I'll resume the uh, video from the downstream side of this bridge.